Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to learn how to take a sine square, a cosine square, or a tangent square of x and reduce it down to a single power of x. How do we do that? Well, these are called formulas for lowering the power. And let's start with the cosine square of x because that's really the one that uh, we can most easily reduce because there we have an interesting formula. If we go back to the double angle formula for the cosine, we can say that the cosine of 2x is equal to the cosine square of x minus the sine square of x. So here we have a relationship between the cosine square of x and the cosine of 2x, but we're still stuck with that sine square of x. We need to somehow get rid of that. And then we remember that the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x is equal to 1, which means we can now write the sine square of x equal to 1 minus the cosine square of x and substitute that into our equation right there. So if we do that, we get the following. We get the cosine of 2x is equal to the cosine square of x minus, and in brackets we can then write 1 minus the cosine square of x. And of course, if we apply the negative then, we end up with the cosine of 2x is equal to the cosine square of x minus 1 plus the cosine square of x, or we can write that the cosine of 2x is equal to the cosine, oh, not the cosine, now we have two of them, we can add them together. So now we have 2 times the cosine square of x minus 1. And then if we solve that equation for the cosine square of x, what we can do is we can move the negative 1 over, so we end up with the cosine of 2x plus 1 equals 2 times the cosine square of x, or when we divide both sides by 2, we can say that the cosine of 2x plus 1 divided by 2 equals to the cosine square of x. And that then becomes our equivalency. We can then state that the cosine square of x can be written as the cosine of 2x plus 1 divided by 2. And there we have a nice formula that, that reduces a cosine square of x into a cosine of single powers. We still have a double angle expression there, but at least we no longer have the cosine square. And so that's how we do that for the cosine.